Alright guys, so now we've got some of the rendering problems out of the way with um, Arnold V-Ray whatever. Um, that last video may or may not have helped. Um, we're now going to look at something that I find quite interesting. Um, and I'll show you what I mean, so just follow along if you want or watch whatever you like. So I've got a bunch of spheres here which are just kind of following each other and I've combined them. So it's just one model when they're spinning um, and they're looping. I won't show you how to do that because if you can't do that you're probably in the wrong tutorial anyway. So in the effects menu I'm just going to go into Biofrost uh, I'm going to create an arrow. Let that do its thing. Um, and I'm going to just switch down the master voxel size to about 250. So lowish. Um, and I think I'm only going to go up to like frame uh, let's just go with frame 80 for now. I don't want to be simming for ages. Um, I'm just going to hit play on that. Let them do their thing for a minute. And what immediately struck me when uh, I was watching this simulation is because um, <clears throat> initially I was going to be doing a smoke tutorial. Um, I had to do some cool smoke. But I was watching the simulation and thinking, wouldn't it be really nice? if I could render these really dense particles that we're seeing in the viewport uh, from the arrow, if I could render them as particles because with the amount of dynamics and the kind of physics that are going on with these particles um, it would take simply ages to do that in my particles yeah? um, so if we could find a way of just rendering these guys as particles instead of smoke that would be pretty sick um, so I'm going to stop here kind of there. Um, so we've got some fairly dense particles. Um, so let's just give it a little go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know for a fact, um, well just through what I've been looking at, this this approach doesn't work with V-Ray. This is Arnold, uh, this is going to be an Arnold only lesson. Um, so right, I'm just going to go and create myself a little Arnold light. Um, and let's just create a little area light up here and I'm going to put it rotate it around here I'm going to scale that bad boy up put that over here up there a little bit more rotation that will do um, and then I'm just going to bring the intensity up and the exposure up and we'll see what we get in a minute so if I render this now um, let me just well we've got Arnold on already Let's just do a little IPR straight away. You can see I've been testing here earlier. So if we render this now, we're just going to get smoke. Uh, so let me turn some of these settings up. So you can see we've just got wisps of smoke going on. Um, like cool and all that, but it's not what I'm uh, trying to show you here. So let's just stop that IPR for a second whip that off and it's fairly simple really so with the container selected um, we'll just go into the arrow shape attributes uh, if you don't know that's this sucker okay um, and we're going to scroll down to where it says render and at the moment it says render as a volume well, we can change this we can change this to render as points okay so that's now render as points and now we've got point controls for the radius of those points so that's pretty cool um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign um, a new material I'm going to assign an Arnold standard shader um, and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to uh, just IPR this for a second just to see if it's working I can already tell this working so that's for me that's really cool because like I said the physics that are going on inside this simulation to get that into particles straight away kind of opens up like a new door for me also the amount of particles that are being shown here um, Maya seems to handle it a lot better than just doing standard particles and we can render them nicely um, just gonna turn the exposure down a little bit because it's burning out. Obviously we can stick in the motion blur and all that kind of thing. So what I want to do now is I'm going to 
up the resolution of this um, this arrow. So I'm going to take that down to a hundred. I'm going to rewind that and I'm going to play that just for a little bit. <clears throat> we could just have a little chat while this is happening. I haven't got a pause function on my um, recording software, but I could just pause it in post. We'll see. So you can see we're getting like a much more dense look at the moment. In fact, if I just like render it here for a minute before they all start breaking up, we'll be able to see just how dense those particles are and see if we need to adjust that uh, radius size. And that's a really dense particle and that looks really, really good. Like I love that, I love that look. So just render that again a little bit closer up. Now I need to find a way personally for my own personal gratification. I have to do this in V-Ray as well. So now really guys you can just go forth and create some amazingness. So we've got a nice motion blur going on and look how thick those particles are. That's insane. <clears throat> I look a bit wrong at the moment, but um, <laughs> we'll just carry on that sim for a minute. So we should be able to create some really cool stuff with this now. Some nice like artwork or just some mad effects. Just leave that to carry on for a bit. In fact, at this point, I'm going to pause. Right, I'm just going to stop it here because I really can't be bothered to sit and wait uh, for half an hour for some sim to happen. But we've got like some nice thickness going on at the moment, so I'm just going to render this and see what it looks like. So it's still got motion blur on at the moment as well inside the Arnold settings. You'll have to switch that on manually. I had that already switched on from earlier. But again, you got you know, you got slim to no chance of recreating this with like N particles and, and getting this um this fluid smoky look. And going forward I think this is this is quite exciting for me. Because it's such a great look. It's got that kind of Krakatoa sort of thickness to it. Should have really hidden those spheres, but we had a bit of depth of field into this, and it's going to look amazing. <clears throat> Come on, Arnold, quicker! So obviously the rendering is not the fastest, but it's not too shabby. I've got a 24 core machine, 48 threads, so it's whipping through it. Oh look at that, there's some loveliness going on over here. Real nice. It's real nice. Yeah, I look at that. I like that a lot. So there you go, boys and girls. I want to start making some seriously thick looking particle sims. You can do it using Aero, Arnold, and just ticking that little box back here um, under the aero shape uh, that said what did it say this is the thing I found earlier that it, go, it, it, it goes missing once you've ticked it strange oh and I just remember to turn on visible reflections visible refractions if you want them to show up um, underneath I'm not sure if it's a little bug um, but anyway, once you've changed it from volume to points, which I'm sure was here earlier, um, then you can change the point size here. So you can get them even smaller. We're on like 0 0.010. So, oh, there we go. It it's weird. It's under volume controls now. I'm sure it wasn't earlier. I'll have to look back in the video. But whatever. There you go. Some really nice particles rendered pretty quickly in Arnold. Um, 
so yeah go forth and enjoy the marvels of uh, uh, Bifrost Arrow nicely see you later